All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting at the review table. This week is kind of like the optics review week. It's kind of cool. In front of us, I got this new optic. This is from a company called Zero Tech. Now, these guys are uh, famous for hunting optics, uh, mostly in the Europe market. But anyway, they decided to go ahead and get involved in the rec reflex sight market. A uh, company sent this out to me. I've been working with these guys for a long time, and uh, this is something new that they're marketing. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to take this guy out and just let you know. Uh, I'm going to put this on a rifle. I'm going to beat it up, see what happens with it, and I'm hoping that it does really well. Now, uh, Thrive HD. So this is a box opening. I've never, I haven't even opened this box. I don't even know what this thing looks like, but I've seen the website. It looks very promising. So let's take a look at this in detail. So Zero Tech. Uh, let's see here. We're going to open it up like that. Congratulations on purchase of your Thrive HD Reflex Light. Scan the code to find your online instruction manual. Man, what if you don't have online access? Let's see here. we got a cleaning cloth right here. Uh, and I've got a nice rubber cover. That's kind of nice to have. And then you get a couple of these little uh, torque wrench deals here. And the reflex sight itself. Okay, nothing else is in the box, I don't think. Nope, that's it. We got an empty box. Outstanding. All right, so let's take a look at this guy. We're going to unwrap it. Unwrap it. So, looking at this, I like the window. Very nice. Zero tech on the front of it. Beautiful. Oh, let's go over a couple details. This is a 3MOA dot, 1 by 28, uh, up to 50,000 hours of life. And the battery. Uh, I like the side access point for the battery right there. That's nice. So you can leave it on. You do have two options. You got a pick rail option as well as an RMR uh, footprint on this guy. So you can do your screws right there and there. That's really nice to know. I've got a couple optics or a couple pistols that I wouldn't mind testing this thing out on, but I think today we're going to put it on an AK 47 just to see what it does. I got to shoot some uh, armor, by the way. They want to outlaw armor. <laughs> Uh, convenient battery compartment location. No need to remove the mount to change the battery side loading. RMR mount, auto shut off, auto on, integrated motion sensor. That's nice to know. Let's see if, is the battery in there? Do we need to put a battery? Oh, wouldn't that be funny? Let's see, hold the plus down. Usually it's very intuitive. Well, no, that didn't do it. Okay, and then adjustable brightness supplied with a Picatinny compatible base right there high and low rise versions. Okay, so they do have additional mounts that you can purchase with this thing. Anti-reflective lens coating, uh, specifically developed for the least possible image distortion. Maybe that's what it meant. Okay, so let's just take a look at this guy real quickly. Um, it's brand new. Let's see what they've got. Oh, I need to scan this with my phone in order to get the instructions. Let's do that real quickly and see what happens. All right, we're back, and I had to get myself a little cup of coffee here. I've got one of those Keurig deals, man. When I'm out of town, $29 for a box of those deals for 100 of them uh, off of Amazon. Not a bad little deal. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to take this, and I'm going to scan. Okay. Let's see what happens. ZT Optics. She's coming up. Hold on. There we go. There we go, folks. Outstanding. Outstanding in the field. Um, all right, for the best research, mine. Okay, okay. Well, uh, what does this say? Nothing found. Evidently, they haven't set that thing up. That's how fast we've had this thing out. <laughs> but in any case, uh, it would be nice. I could figure out how to turn it on. Hey, oh, wait a minute. No. No. Well, let's do this. Let's open it up to see if there's even a battery in it. We got a little tool here. Let's go ahead. Yeah. I like that they use a torque screw versus anything else. I'm using my radio voice today. Maybe 
it doesn't come all the way out. Oh, God. Well, there's a battery in it. I can't tell if that's a... Oh, it's, let's take this cover off and see if that has something to do with it. Might. Because I can figure this thing out. What is that? Pull the old trusty Microtech Scarab 2 out. Here we go. I don't know if this is... I'll probably end up slicing my finger off. Hopefully this is why. Put that bad boy in there see what happens. Well... CR zero CR two zero three two three battery zero three two battery. There we go. There it is. Yay. All right, so just for your information, these things are so brand new. Uh, you need to take that little plastic cover off of the battery. Um, so that's cool. We know that now. All right. So one of the things I'm going to be looking for, let me get these screws on here, is that it, the clarity of that dot, the, uh, I want to make sure there's no flare, flare ups, that's one of the things, a clear dot. Now for a pistol dot, I, I tend to go with something a little bit bigger, um, but a three MOA dot is not bad uh, if you want to use it, say on top of a rifle or a eye angled, but yeah. you guys in there. Let's go ahead and bump it up. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so there's evidently there's some uh, night vision capability in there as well. I'll show you a photo of this thing here real quickly. But not a bad looking optic. Uh, pretty solid. And I like the idea that it... Uh, see the adjustment levels. I wish it said on the side what the adjustment are on this thing. So they're probably a one MOA, half MOA. I don't know. Oh, this is for this guy right here. All right. Nice. And okay. Well, that's I don't even know what this is for. This is for that, okay. Oh, okay, so we've got two different sides. You've got the screw over here. This is interesting. All right, so thank you. You can hear the tactile. Little noises there. Not bad. So you're able to change. I like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on an AK-47 so we can shoot a piece of steel later on so you can see that. But with that being said, guys, this thing retails for $350. i am going to be testing it out. We'll let you know how it works in the future. So far, the fit and finish of it, and it's a, a nice little hefty optic. I'm digging it. Not bad. $350. This is a pretty steep price, though, but uh, we'll figure it out. So with that being said, guys, um, yeah, we'll see how this thing works out in the future. We'll do a follow-up video on it as well. It's KB32. If you like this video, if you want to see more optic stuff like this, please let me know. Uh, with that being said, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. I do like that optic. A lot of times what I do is I look at the seal all the way around there. It's not bad. Maybe we'll do a Cowan Sage drop test on this bad boy and see how it works. Not, it is a good looking optic. Y'all be good.